Okay, welcome to the video. Now this is more um, of a help video for me. One of you guys out there watching this might know the answer to this. I haven't been able to find it online. Now I've got two Hass mills here. This is a year 2000 VF0E. This one is Mocon 11 and software version 10.31N. This one had an upgrade, but this is version 9.64F and Mocon 17.1. Now, when I post the program from Fusion 360, it's an NC file. Now, if I take my USB and I put it in the floppy emulator, USB floppy emulator, I can go in here, edit, F1, scroll across to input output, floppy directory, press enter, and then you will see there's my program. Okay, so that's there, that's no drama. So if I want to import it, I just press enter again, it says floppy read, and then it will put it into the current programs or current commands. There you go. So now it's in our file list. Right, so remember that is now in our file list. Now if I take this same USB, let's put that into list programs, and these are already formatted. Obviously it wouldn't work in the other one if not. Same USB um, floppy emulator. Bought these at the same time. It's by GoTech. The jumpers are set exactly the same as on this mill. Because this software is slightly different, it's like it's older maybe, I don't know. Um, edit, F1. Now this says disk directory rather than floppy directory. And I press enter. Disk read. See, it comes up different. So Hass is the name of the floppy. I don't know what this B means. System one directory and I have no idea what this is. Um, that's not my program name. And if I click on it, it will say file name required. Now, I could try that file name there. So it's 073153. Okay, O, see, won't let you press that. So I could do seven, see, and it won't let me press that either. So he just doesn't like it. Now, what is weird, if I cancel out of that, and I can try it the other way around, edit, um, sorry, I can just try what people say, just press F4 to read the disk directory. Disk done, now if I go to there, go to edit, and again, you can see that it's not there. I have no idea what this is because um, that isn't a program. I don't know what that is. So yeah, let's just go out of that. Right, now what is strange, let's take this USB and I'll show you that the program is on here. So if I plug this into my laptop, there's the pro program. Radiator orb, op2 thread milling. NC file, 12 kilobyte. Now if I click on there, delete it, delete this file. Yes, right, so there's nothing on that USB now. Take it out of here. Put it into this one. I know this is long-winded, but I'm just trying to figure out why so ignore the alarm, it's just I've got the E stopping, but everything else works. If I go edit F1, send to floppy. Now if I take that same program that I just put in, floppy right. Okay, now that's just rope to there, so now I take this out and I will show you that it's no longer an NC file. It just says it's a file. 
when this comes up. See there, there's the number 073153 and it just says it's a file. When you click on it for properties, it's just a file. Um, doesn't really give you much more info than that. Doesn't mean anything to me. So if we close this, so you can see there, we've just got that basic file on there and it's not an NC program. Now what's weird is the machine will now find this. So I put that straight into there. I know the USB drives and all that can be set into different partitions, but I've never had to do that on this one. And I didn't have to do it on the VF0E that I just sold. Right, so now if I go edit F1 disk directory, now my program is there. And that C, whatever that C part was, if I go down there onto that, press enter, it'll say disk read, and it will put it into our current commands, current program. There you go. There it is. Perfect. In there, ready to go. Now, is anybody able to tell me what the difference is? And I've read this about people saying, oh, it won't read a program, but we can send the program to the USB and we can see that program. So obviously there's either something in the software version or there's something to do with that GoTek USB floppy emulator, although the jumpers are set exactly the same. Um, and from the research I could do, the jumpers are set to where they should be. We're not selecting any partitions, just the same as we don't on that one. And of course nothing changes, but if I pull a program out of that machine, or even out of this machine, and it comes out just as a file, um, no .nc, not .text, just a file, then the machine will recognize it. So I'm trying to get to the bottom of it because currently, at the minute, I'm having to put every program I want to use into there, delete the USB, then I have to take the program off of there onto the USB to be able to put it in this machine. Now, yes, people are saying, um, probably thinking, sorry, that you can just use DNC, the drip feed, but I quite like using the USBs, personally. Um, I've not got into the DNC side of it. It's probably easier because you haven't got to keep putting a USB in. But for the minute, I want to try and get to the bottom of this problem. So if there's anyone out there who knows what's what, knows uh, a workaround, or if it's a software issue and I'm just stuck with it, then please um, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think. Any ideas, anything I could drive, would be greatly appreciated. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.